Hello everyone and welcome to this Aquas 2020 tutorial. In this tutorial we will go through some of the basics of Aquas 2020. First we'll have a look at Aquas' setup wizard and in the next step we will use the wizard to set up some nice water. In this scene we have a terrain with some vegetation and a wind zone. First let's open up the Aquas setup wizard. In the top bar click on window and go to Aquas setup wizard. The window that opens has three main tabs. One for the water setup, one for the underwater setup, and one with tools for creating masks and reference images. Each tab has its own properties and functionalities. In this tutorial, we will be focusing only on the water setup. The other tabs will be covered in later tutorials. Let's dock the window to a convenient location and set up the water. First, we need to provide some input. Most of the input fields are self explanatory, and the ones that are not will display a help box with further explanation. Select the type of water you would like to have. You can choose between shallow and deep water. Shallow water does not have presets because it's not usually deep enough to absorb colors, thus there isn't a lot of variation. For this tutorial, we will choose deep water. Next you can select from various presets such as lake, swamp or sewer. You can later make adjustments to the water material to customize it. Now specify the water level. In this scene the water level is supposed to be at 50. Next, drag and drop the terrain object from your hierarchy on the terrain property. Providing a terrain is useful but not necessary. If you do not provide or don't have a terrain in your scene, Aquas will position the water plane at the center of the scene without further scaling. Drag and drop the camera object from your hierarchy on the camera property. If you leave the camera property empty, Aquas will look for the main camera and try to use it if it can. Select the type of caustics you would like to use. You can select between single caustics, double caustics and no caustics. Double caustics represent two layers of projected caustics and may require more performance but offer a more realistic look. By default, Aquas will offer to add only one layer of caustics which is enough for most use cases. When everything is ready, we can click Add Water. First, Aquas tells us that it could not find a container object for the water planes and try to add one. Click OK. We now have water in the scene. Let's see what Aquas has done. It has added an object called Aquas Container and a water plane with an ID number as a child object of the container. Apart from a mesh filter and a renderer, we can see that the water plane has been given a copy of the preset material we chose earlier using Aquas's default front face shader. If you want, you can adjust all parameters of the material at will. Since it is a copy, the original preset will not be affected by this. Let's have a look at the camera object. The only thing Aquas has done here is, it has added the Aquas camera script as a component. This is done by default but is only required to enable depth rendering in forward rendering mode which is required when using forward rendering mode on some mobile platforms. If you are using deferred rendering, you can safely delete this component. If you have nothing to move your camera, feel free to use Aquas's camera navigator component to move around in game view. You can add the component located at Aquas Utilities Camera Navigation. Let's hit play and explore the scene. We can already see soft reflections of the skybox. I will go deeper into tweaking reflections in a later tutorial. When we move closer to the water surface, we can see the transparency and the color absorption. Note how the water becomes darker the deeper it is. When we look through the transparent areas, we can get a good look at the caustics. Note that the caustics are only being rendered in play mode. If we go through the water surface, we can get an even better look at the caustics. We notice that there are no underwater effects and that the water does not have a back face. The next tutorial will cover how to use a setup wizard to set up underwater effects and customize them. Before we end this tutorial, there is one more thing I would like to show you. We notice that the water plane has the same size as the terrain. For terrains with lakes and rivers, this will most often be sufficient. But environments featuring island terrains usually need the water plane to be considerably bigger than the terrain. In fact, they need the water to be infinite. Aquas can do that. Let's exit play mode first. To make the water infinite, all we need to do is select the water plane and add a component to it that does a work for us. Click Add. Aquas, Essentials, Camera Lock. Let's see the component in the inspector. 
It asks us to provide the camera we want to lock the water to. Drag and drop your main camera here. If you are not making a top-down game and want the water to stretch all the way to the horizon, check the checkbox that says Scale to Frustum. We can now hit play again. We see that the water is now stretching out all the way to the horizon. Thanks to the World Space UVs, we can move the camera as far as we want in any direction we want, the water will always be infinite. And that is it for this tutorial, the next tutorial will cover the setup and customization of the underwater effects. If you have any questions or need support, please send a message or leave a post on the forum. Thank you very much for watching.